Hi children, welcome back to class. What we have discussed in the last class, can you tell me children? What we have discussed? We have discussed about the meaning of fraction and also parts of the fraction and types of fraction. Now can you tell me how many types of fractions are there? Yes, like fraction, unlike fraction, proper fraction, improper fraction, unit fraction and mixed fraction. Yes, so we have discussed about the types of fractions in the last class and also meaning of the fraction. What do you mean by fraction then? Can you tell me children? Fraction is nothing but part of the whole is called fraction. What is that called? Part of the whole is called fraction. Understood children? Yes, parts of the fraction. I'm sorry, parts of the fraction. What are the parts of fraction? That is numerator and denominator. How to write the fraction children? So, this is a fraction, correct? Is it a fraction? No, this is not a fraction. This is a whole number. So, this is not a fraction. Yes, fraction means one number you can see up and one number you can see down. And the numbers will be divided by a line. This is called bar and this is called numerator. The number which we write above the line is called numerator. And number which we write below the line is called denominator. So, numerator, bar or vinculum and denominator are the parts of a fraction. Understood children? So today we are going to learn how to convert the improper fraction into a mixed fraction and also a mixed fraction into a improper fraction. Let us see that. So now we are going to learn how to convert improper fraction into a mixed fraction. Okay children, you know what you mean by the improper fraction? The fraction whose numerator is greater than the denominator. Such fractions are known as improper fraction. Example, 15 by 4. How to read this? 15 by 4. So here you can see numerator is greater than the denominator. Denominator is 4 which is lesser than the numerator. So such type of fractions are known as improper fractions. Now what I have to do? I have to convert this into a mixed fraction. Understood children? I have to convert this into a mixed fraction. What do you mean by the mixed fraction? Mixed fraction is nothing but it is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. So such fractions are known as mixed fraction. Let us see how to convert this. How to convert this? First step, what you have to do? You have to divide the numerator, okay? You have to divide the numerator by the denominator, okay? By the denominator, yes. 4 divided by 15. Let us see how to divide. Now, in 4th table, can you find 15 children? No, you cannot find. If you want, let me write 4th table for you, okay? 4 ones are 4. 4 twos are 8, 4 threes are 12, 4 fours are 16. This much is enough because we have 15. Okay, so now here you see, you have to see this part. Where here 15 will come? Can you see 15 here children? No, you cannot see the 15. But you may ask, ma'am, 16 is there. Yeah, 16 is there, but we cannot take 16. Why? Because 16 is more than 15. So we can't take the number which is more than this number. We have to take less than this number. Okay? So what we have to do in that case, when 15 is not there, what we have to do? We have to take the back number. Okay, children? Let us take the back number. 15 before, which number will come? 14. See there, 14 is here? No. Take the, again back number. 14 before which number will come? 13. Can you see 13 here? No. Again 13 before which number will come? 12. Can you see 12 here? Yeah. Where? Here. 4 3s are 12. Okay. Yes. Now what I will do? 4 3s are 12. This 3 I will write it here. Okay. Up. 3. 4 3s are 12. So, minus this 12 here. 5 minus 2, 3. 1 minus 1, 0. So, can you divide here again? No. Why? Because this is lesser than the divisor. Oh, this is called as reminder. 
and this is called as quotient. Now the division is finished. Now we got the answer. Now using this we have to write the mixed fraction. How to write the mixed fraction? Let us see that. Denominator is same. No changes in the denominator. Denominator will be 4. Okay. Yes. Now I want to write the whole number. Which one I can write the whole number? I have to write this quotient as the whole number. Keep it in mind children. I have to write the quotient as a whole number. Okay. Understood now? What I have done here? I have written this quotient as a whole number. Then what about the reminder? Reminder is nothing but numerator. I have to write the reminder as numerator. Understood now? Yes, quotient is nothing but the whole number. Reminder is nothing but the numerator. In this way, we have to write the mixed fraction. Understood? 4, 3, 3 by 4. This is 3, 3 by 4. Clear? Yes. If you want, you can multiply and you can check. You will get this answer. I hope you understood. In this way, you have to convert the improper fraction into mixed fraction. If you want, let me give one more example to you. by 3. So now you tell me what I have to do first here. I have to divide this 16 by 3. Okay. Yes. Which table I have to write? I have to write the table of divisor. Divisor is nothing but 3. So let me write 3 1s are 3. 3 2s are 6. 3 3s are 9, 3, 4, 12, 3, 5, 15, 3, 6, 18. Till here, enough. Now, what I have to do? I have to see here where that 16 will come here. Can you see the 16 here, children? No, 16 is not there. So, what you have to do? When 16 is not there, what you have to do, children? You have to take the back number. Okay, previous number. So, 16 before which number will come? 15. So, let us see. 15 is here. Yes, 15 is here. 3 files are 15. What I have to do now? I have to write this 5 here. Up in the place of quotient. 5 I have to write here. And this 15 I have to minus here. Okay, minus 15. Understood now? 6 minus 5 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, division is completed. So, this is nothing but reminder. Okay? And this is nothing but quotient. So, now I want to write the mixed fraction. How to write the mixed fraction? I told there is no changes in the denominator. Denominator will be the same. So, 3 is the denominator. Now, which one I have to write it as the whole number? That is nothing but quotient. I have to write the quotient as whole number. So, this is the whole number, 5. The note about the reminder. Reminder is nothing but the numerator. So, I have to write the reminder as numerator. So, 5, 1 by 3. Understood, children? How to convert the improper fraction into a mixed fraction? I hope you have understood. Shall we see the another case? Okay. So let us see here how to convert the mixed fraction into a improper fraction. Now we are going to learn how to convert the mixed fraction into a improper fraction. Let us see that. So now this is the mixed fraction. I want to convert this into a improper fraction. How to convert this? Uh, see here. Today is what we have to do. We have to multiply the whole number. Whole number is what? 2 is the whole number. To this whole number, I have to multiply the denominator. Okay? That is nothing but 2 into 7. 2 into 7. 
what I have done here to the whole number I have multiplied the denominator now to this I have to add the numerator that is 5 okay by same denominator okay 7 yes now let us check it out how to get the answer 2 7 are 14 14 plus 5 14 plus 5 how much 19 19 by 7 is the improper fraction. Understood children? What I have done here? I have multiplied the whole number by with the denominator. To that I have added the numerator. Shall we see one more example? Okay. Yes, here you see. 4, 3 by 8. Let us convert this into a improper fraction. So first, what I have to do first? I have to multiply the whole number with the denominator. To that I have to add the numerator that is 3. Okay. By denominator. Same denominator we will write. So let us multiply. 4 8s are 32 plus 3 by 8. So 32 plus 3 is equal to 35 by 8. Understood children? Simple right? I hope you have understood both the concept. How to convert the improper fraction into a mixed fraction and a mixed fraction into a improper fraction. Understood right? Okay. Now let us move on to the exercise. First exercise of our this lesson fraction and decimal. Okay. So see children, our first question is solve. We have to solve here. Here fractions are given. We have to subtract them or either we have to add them. That is what we have to do here. So let us see the first one. What they have given? 2 minus 3 by 5. So this is the subtraction. Here we have to minus 2 from the 3 by 5. So here you see one whole number is there. One fraction is there. What we have to do? When there is no denominator, we have to assume that 1 is the denominator. When there is no denominator, we have to assume that 1 is the denominator. Okay. Now, 3 minus, sorry, 3 by 5. Okay. Now, we have to minus the fraction. How to do this? Yes, we have to take the LCM of 1 and 5. What we have to do? We have to take the LCM of 1 and 5. 1 and 5 is nothing but we can take like that. So first I will go with 1 stable. 1, 1 as it is. 1, 5 is 5. I will get same if I take 1, 5 stable. 1 as it is. 5, 1 is So 1 into 5 again. 5 only is the LCM. 5 into 1 is equal to 5. So 5 is the LCM. It is simple to you. I just showed you for your understanding. Whenever 1 is there and any other number is there. Then you can assume that that number is the LCM. Okay. When in the case of 1 and the other number. Okay. Yes. So now the LCM is 5. That means I have to do both the side the denominator as 5. Okay. Both the side I have to make the denominator as 5. Here already 5 is there but here no 5. Here 1 is there. So now you tell me by which number I have to multiply to this so that I will make it as 5. 
I have to multiply this number by 5 itself. Into 5. Okay. So that I will get 5 here. When I am multiplying the denominator, I have to multiply even the numerator also. With the same number 2 into 5. And here you can see denominator is 5. If I want to make 5, by how much I have to multiply? Nothing but by 1. 1 by 1. Okay. Yes. So 2 5s are 10. And 1 5s are 5. And here it is minus 3 1s are 3. 5 1s are 5. Now you can see both the side denominators are same. Like fraction now. We will take as one denominator. This is now 10 minus 3. 10 minus 3 is how much? That is nothing but 7 by 5. This is the answer. Understood children? Yes. So this is the way we have to do. What I have done here when there is no denominator, assume 1 as the denominator. Now you have to take the LCM of 1 and 5. That is nothing but 5. So that I have to make the both the denominator as 5. So to this I have multiplied by 5 so that I can get the 5. Here I have multiplied by 1 so that I can get the 5. Okay, then finally what I have done, I have done the denominator same. Then from the numerator, this numerator, I have subtracted this numerator so that I got 7 by 5. Understood children? Okay, so let us see the next problem then. So here, 3 fractions are given. You have to add this. What we have to do? All are unlike fraction, not same. So we have to make the denominator same or else we have to make them as like fraction. What we have to do that? For that we have to take the LCM. LCM of the given denominators. That is 10, 5 and 2. So let us take the LCM of this. 10, 5, 2. So we will start it from the smallest number. I will take 2. 2 how many are 10? 2, 5 are 10. Okay. 5 I cannot divide. So I will write 5 as it is. 2 how many are 2? 2, 1 are 2. Okay, yes. Now which number I have to take to divide? I have to take 5. You can see 5 here. Okay, 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 5 and 1 as it finished. So let us see the what is the LCM. In order to get the LCM what I have to do? I have to multiply these two. How many numbers I got here? That I have to multiply. 2 into 5. 2 5s are how much? 10. 10 is the LCM. Understood children? That means I have to make everywhere 10, 10, 10. Denominator, I have to make it as 10. Here the first denominator is 10, is only it is there. So 10 is nothing but 10 ones are 10. I can multiply by 1 to this. When I am multiplying the denominator by the same number, I have to multiply even the numerator also. So 1 plus here 5 is there. I want to make this 5 as 10. So 5 how many are 10 children? 5 2s are 10. That means I have to multiply this denominator by 2. Not only denominator even the numerator also I have to convert. So to this also I have to multiply by the same number 2. Plus. Okay. Now 3 by 2 is here. Now I want to make this 2 as 10. 2 how many are 10? 2 5s are 10. That means I have to multiply this 2 by 5. Okay? Yes. 2 5s are. Not only that, I have to multiply this 5 even for the numerator also. That is into 5. Okay? Yes. Now here you see 10 1s are 10. 7 1s are 7. Plus 5 2's are 10, 2 2's are 4, plus 2 5's are 10, 3 5's are 15. Now you can see the like fraction. When there is a like fraction, what you will do? You will write the single denominator because denominator is the same. Denominator is the same. Now add the numerator. 7 plus 4 plus 15. How much? 7 plus 4, 11. 11 plus 15 is the 26. 26 by 10. This is the answer. 
understood children okay so shall we move on to the next one see there what they have given there they have given the mixed fraction so what we have to do when we got the mixed fraction we have to convert them into improper fraction first and then we have to make the denominator same okay then we have to add them shall we see now how to do okay so let me convert this into a improper fraction first how to convert i told multiply the whole number to the denominator to that you have to add 2 so shall we see now 2 3 are 6 6 plus 2 8 8 by 3 now let us convert this okay how to convert 3 2 are 6 6 plus 1 7 7 7 by 2 now can you see is it a like fraction children no this is not a like fraction this are unlike fraction now what i have to do i have to make the denominator same so for that what i have to do i have to take the lcm of 3 and 2 so let us take the lcm 3 2 so i will go with the smallest number first i will take 2 yes i cannot divide 3 here so that i will write the 3 as it is so now 2 ones are 2 i got 1 now which number i have to take to divide i can take directly 3 3 1 and 1 as it is so lcm is equal to what is that 2 into 3 2 into 3. 2 3s are how much? 2 3s are 6. So 6 is the LCM. That means what I have to do? I have to make the denominator 6 in the both the case. Okay? Yes. In order to make this 6, by which number I have to multiply here? So I have to multiply the 3 into 2. 3 2s are Six. To the numerator also, I have to multiply by the same number. Okay. Plus here two is there. Two is there. Okay. Yes. I want to make this as six. By which number I have to multiply? I have to multiply two by three. Then I will get six. Okay. Two into three with the same three. I have to multiply the numerator also. Three. Okay. Now let us multiply. Eight twos are sixteen. Three twos are six. Plus seven threes are twenty-one. Two threes are six. Now you can see both the denominators are same. Both the denominators are same. Now what I have to do? I have to add the numerators. That is nothing but sixteen plus twenty-one by six. How much? Sixteen plus twenty-one. Sixteen plus twenty-one is equal to six plus one seven. One plus two is three. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven by six. Now, so this question is in the form of a mixed fraction. So you have to convert the answer also in the form of a mixed fraction. How to convert? You have to divide the thirty-seven by six. Okay. So let us see thirty-seven. Divided by six. Thirty-seven is there in six table? No, it is not there. So take the back number. So which is the back number of thirty-seven? That is nothing but thirty-six. Six. How many are thirty-six? Six. Six are thirty-six. So write up six minus thirty-six. So seven minus six is one. Three minus three is zero. Reminder. Question. Yes. How can I convert now? What I told. First, let us write the denominator. What is the denominator? Six is the same denominator. Now you tell me what is the whole number? Which is number? I have to write it as the whole number. Question. Tell reminder. I have to write the question as the whole number. That is nothing but six. And what is the numerator? Nothing but reminder one. So what is the answer we got now? Six one by six is the answer to this. Understood, children? How to add this or how to solve this? I hope you understood. So shall we move on to the another sum then? Okay.
the children here second question arrange the following in descending order so here fractions are given these fractions you have to arrange them in descending order so what do you mean by the descending order children descending order is nothing but arranging the numbers big to small arranging the numbers big to small is known as descending order okay so first we have to arrange them in descending order how to arrange to that we need to make all the denominators as same otherwise we cannot make them arrange in descending order so what we have to do we have to make the denominator same so let us take the lcm of the given denominator okay okay 9 comma 3 comma 21 Okay, nine comma three comma twenty one. These are our denominators. Now we have to take the LCM. Okay, so can you divide these numbers by two children? No, you cannot now divide because these are the odd numbers. So what I will go? I will go with the next number that is with the three. Yes. Now you tell me three. How many are nine? Three threes are nine. Three how many are three? Three ones are three. Three how many are twenty one? Three seven is twenty one. Okay, yes. Now which number I can take? I can take again three here. Three one is three. One is as it is, and seven I cannot divide, so I will write as it is. Now you tell me which number is remaining? Seven is remaining, so I will take seven here. One as it is, one as it is, seven one is seven. Okay, shall we see now what is the deno LCM? LCM is equal to. So what I have to do? I have to multiply this number in order to get the LCM. I have to multiply this number. Three into three into seven. Okay, three three is a nine. Nine seven six is sixty-three. So this is our LCM now. Now what I have to do? I have to make all the denominators are sixty-three. Okay, children. What I have to do? I have to do all the denominators are sixty-three. Okay. Yes. We'll take the first fraction. That is two by nine. Nine how many are sixty-three? Nine seven is sixty-three. That means I have to multiply the denominator by seven. Even the numerator also by Seven. Okay, we'll take the next uh, fraction. That is two by three. Three. How many are sixty-three? We'll check it out. Sixty-three divided by three. Okay, three twos are six. So two minus six. Six by six minus six is zero. Bring down three here. Three. How many are three? Three ones are three. Minus three, so you got zero here. So three, how many are sixty-three? Three twenty-one is sixty-three. That means I have to multiply the denominator by twenty-one, even the numerator also by twenty-one. Understood this step? Okay, let us take the last fraction. That is eight by twenty-one. Okay, twenty-one. How many are sixty-three? Twenty-one threes are here only. You can find twenty-one threes are sixty-three. Easy, right? Yes. So now I have to multiply this by three. Even this also by three. Okay. Yes. Now let us multiply and write the fraction. Two sevens are fourteen. Nine sevens are sixty-three. Okay. Next, two twenty-ones are forty-two. Three twenty ones are sixty three. Eight threes are twenty four. Twenty one threes are sixty three. Now you can see here all the denominators are same. So now what you can do? You can compare the numerators. What you can do, children? You can compare the numerators. So which one is the biggest numerator here? That is forty two by. Sixty-three. Okay, then which one I have to write next? Next highest is the twenty-four by sixty-three, and finally fourteen by sixty-three. These are the converted fractions. But now we have to write the original fraction. Okay, original fraction forty-two by sixty-three. Which is the forty-two by sixty-three? That is nothing but two 
2 by 3 is the original fraction. So that comes first. 2 by 3. Okay. Then 22 by, sorry, 24 by 63. That's nothing but 8 by 21 is the next fraction. 8 by 21. And finally, 14 by 63, which is the fraction that is nothing but 2 by 9. 2 by 9. This is the answer. Understood children? How to arrange in descending order? I hope you understood. So shall we move on to the next question then? Okay. So see here children. A rectangular sheet of paper is 12 1 by 2 centimeter long and 10 2 by centimeter width wide. Okay. Find its perimeter. So now what you have to do? You have to find the perimeter of a rectangular sheet paper. You have to find the perimeter of a rectangular sheet paper. Rectangular sheet paper. Okay, this is a rectangular sheet paper. What they have given? That is 12 1 by 2 centimeter is long. 12 1 by 2 centimeter is long. Long is nothing but length. And 10 1 by 10 2 by 3 is wide. 10 2 by 3 is wide is nothing but width. Okay, so length and width is given. You have to find out the perimeter. What you have to do children? You have to find out the perimeter. So, to find out the perimeter, let us write the formula. You know children, what is the formula for the perimeter? Perimeter of a rectangle, you know? Yes, that is nothing but perimeter of rectangle is equal to answer. into L plus B. 2 into L plus B. Do you remember this formula children? 2 into L plus B. L is nothing but length or long. B is nothing but breadth. Breadth is nothing but width or wide. Okay children? Yes. 2 into means into. My multiplication symbol must be there. Okay? Yes. Now let us see. What is the length here they have given? That is 2 into 12 1 by 2 plus 10 2 by 3. This is the way we have to write. If you want, you can put the multiplication sign or else you can skip also. No problem because that it is there means it is nothing but it is understood. You have to multiply there. Okay children? Yes. Now 2 is there. Now you have to convert this into what? You have to convert this into a improper fraction. So shall we see now how to convert this into improper fraction? Okay. 12 to is 12 to is 24. 24 plus 1, 25. So the numerator is 25. Denominator is 2. Plus. Here it is. 10 2 by 3 is there. First we have to multiply the 10 by 3. 10 3 is 30. 30 plus 2 32. 32 by 3. Now you see here can you add this fraction children? No you cannot add. Why? Because denominators are different. So in that case you cannot add. So what we have to do? We have to take the LCM of 2 and 3. What we have to do children? We have to take the LCM of 2 and 3 and then we have to make the denominator same. Okay. So shall we see now? Let us take the LCM of 2 and 3. 2 comma 3. Yes. So which number I have to take first? Let me go with 2. 2 ones are 2 and 3 I cannot divide. So I will write 3 as it is. Now what we have to do? Now only 3 is remaining. I have to take 3. 1 as it is. 3 ones are 3. So what is the LCM? LCM is equal to 2 into 3. Nothing but 6 is the LCM. 6 is the LCM. That means what I have to do? I have to make this both the side also 6. Both the denominators also I have to make it as 6. So let us see. 
I will write here so that you can see properly. Two is as it is into okay twenty five is there twenty five by two. Two in order to make two as six by which number I have to multiply children? I have to multiply three there. Yes, two how many are six? Two three is a six. So I have to multiply this denominator by three. Even the numerator also. Even the numerator also by the same number plus here thirty two by three three how many are six children three two is a six so I have to multiply this by two even the numerator also okay yes now two as it is now let us multiply and will write twenty five into three twenty five three is a where here I will write. Twenty-five into three, five threes are fifteen. One you have to carry. Three twos are six. Six plus one seven. How much answer you got? Seventy-five. Seventy-five by two threes are six. Plus okay. Here thirty-two into four. Thirty-two four twos are thirty-two into two. Two twos are four. Two threes are six. Sixty-four. By here it is what three twos are six. Now you can add this one because you can see here both the sides denominators are same. Yes, let me add and write. Two into seventy-five plus sixty-four. Seventy-five plus sixty-four. How much? Let me add here seventy-five plus sixty-four. Add this children. Five plus four nine. Seven plus six thirteen. One thirty-nine. One thirty-nine. Now what we have to do? We have to multiply by two here. For that, what I will show you one easy method. We can strike out this two. Two ones are, two threes are. Understood? What I did? I just shortcut. I used the shortcut method. I have striked out two here. Two ones are and two threes are. I divided their result so here. Two ones are, two threes are six. So I divided there. Now I got one thirty nine by three. What is the answer? I got one thirty nine by three. So now what you have to do? Here the length and width is in which one? Mixed fraction. So I have to convert this also a mixed fraction. So what is the answer here? One thirty nine by three is there. So now this you have to convert into a mixed fraction. What you have to do? You have to divide. One thirty nine by three. Okay, don't get confused with this. Okay, we'll take the two digits first. That is thirteen. Thirteen is there in three's table? No, it is not there. So we'll take the back number, which is the back number or previous number is twelve. Three how many is there? Twelve. Three fours are twelve. Yes, three minus two, one. One minus one, zero. Bring down nine, nineteen. Let us see, nineteen is there in three table. Nineteen is there in three table? No, it is not there. So what we have to do? We have to take the back number, eighteen. Three how many are eighteen? Three six are eighteen. So minus eighteen. Nine minus one is nine minus eight is one. One minus one is zero. So this is the reminder quotient. So as I told, what is the whole number? Whole number is nothing but the quotient. What is the quotient? Forty-six. Denominator is same three, and the remainder is one. So this is the answer. What is the answer you got now? Forty-six. One by three is the final answer. Forty-six. One by three is the final answer. That is the perimeter of a rectangular sheet paper. Understood, children? How to solve this? I hope you understood. So, shall we see the next one? Okay.
children now let us see the fourth question okay find the perimeter of triangle abe and rectangle bcad bcd in the figure whose perimeter is greater can you see the picture children here one triangle and one rectangle is there now what you have to do you have to find out the perimeter of a rectangle and the perimeter of a so the perimeter of a triangle and the perimeter of a rectangle both also you have to find out and then you have to compare which perimeter is greater or the triangle or a rectangle so shall we see now how to work out okay yes so let us find the perimeter of a triangle and so so let me divide into two otherwise space is not enough perimeter of triangle this is the symbol you know right this symbol indicates nothing but triangle okay perimeter of triangle is equal to what you have to do what is the formula nothing but three sides also you have to add three sides also you have to add that is ab plus ae plus de nothing but 5 by 2 plus 2 3 by 4 plus 3 3 by 5 this you have to add in order to get the perimeter of a triangle so let us add this 5 by 2 plus 3 3 by 5 plus 2 3 by 4 Now what happened, children? Can you see properly? Or else, let me write clearly. That is five by two plus three three by five plus two three by four. Can you see this all? Measures are in terms of centimeter. Okay, this all in terms of centimeter. If you want, you can write centimeter also. I'm not writing. Yes. Now what you have to do now? Now here you see one is improper fraction and two are mixed fraction. So what we have to do first? First we have to convert this fraction also into a improper fraction. Okay. I by two plus Three five is fifteen. Fifteen plus three eighteen. Eighteen by five. Now two four is eight. Eight plus three eleven. Even eleven by four. So now these are our improper fraction. Now what we have to do? Can we add like this, children? No, we cannot add. Why? Because we have to take the LCM of the given denominators. So shall we see now? What is the LCM? Yes, that is two five four. Let us take the LCM of this. I'll write here two comma five comma four. So I will go with the smallest number two. Two ones are two. Five I cannot divide, so I will write five as it is. Two twos are four. Now, which number I have to take? Can you see one five two is there? Which number I have to take, children? I'll go with two again. So one as it is five I cannot divide, so as it is two ones are two. Now, which number is remaining? Five. I will take five. One comma five ones are five. And one as it is. So what is the LCM now? LCM is equal to two into two into five multiplied two twos are four. Four fives are twenty. Twenty is the LCM. That means what I have to do? I have to make all the denominators of twenty. Okay, let us see how to do. Five by two. Two how many are twenty children? Two tens are twenty. That means I have to multiply this by ten. What about a numerator? Can I leave as it is? No, I have to multiply even the numerator also by the same number. That is ten plus. Okay, let us take the next one. That is eighteen by five. Five how many are twenty children? Five four is. Twenty. So I have to divide, multiply this by four. Even the numerator also four. Finished. We'll take the next one. Eleven by four. Okay. Four. How many are twenty? Four five is twenty five. 
This is also by 5. Okay. Yes. Now multiply 5. All the denominators first we will say 2 tens are 20, 5 fours are 20, 4 fives are 20. So all the denominators are same now. 20. Let us multiply this. 5 twos are, sorry, 5 tens are 50 plus 18 fours are, 18 fours are how much? 18 into 4. 4 eights are 32, right? 2, 3, you have to carry. 4 ones are 4. 4 plus 3 is 7, 72. Plus 11 into 5. 11 fives are 55. Okay? 11 fives are 55. So now let us add this. What in all? 50 plus 72 plus 55. Add this. 2 plus 0, 2. 2 plus 5, 7. 5 plus 7, 12. 12 plus 5, 17. So what is the answer you got? 177. So 177 by 20. This is the answer. This is the perimeter of a triangle. That is what is the name of the triangle? ABE. This is the final answer. That is 177 by 20. Okay. Yes. Let us see the what is the uh, perimeter of a rectangle. What is the formula? I already told. Perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B. 2 into L plus B. Yes, let us see. 2. What is the L? L is nothing but is the length. That is 2, 3 by 4. It is given 2, 3 by 4. 2, 3 by 4 plus what is the width? 7 by 6 is the width. 7 by 6 is the width. Okay. Now what I have to do? Now this I have to convert into a improper fraction. Yes. 2 4 is 8. 8 plus 3 11. 11 by 4 plus 7 by 6. Okay. Can I add like this only children? No. I have to take the LCM of 4 and 6. Let us take the LCM 4 and 6. Yes. So what I have to do? I will go with the smallest number 2. 2 how many is are 4? 2 2 is are 4. 2 how many is are 6? 2 3 is are 6. Now which number I have to take? I will take again 2. 2 1 is are 2. 3 as it is. Now I will take 3. 1 and 1. So now LCM is equal to 2 into 2 into 3. Okay, 2 2s are 4, 4 3s are 12. 12 is the LCM. Now what I have to do? I have to make the both the denominator also 12. Okay, yes. Yes, 4 how many are 12 children? 4 3s are 12. I have to multiply this by 3, even this also by 3. Plus, next, that is 7 by 6. 7 by 6. 6 how many is are 12? 6 twos are 12. Okay. Yes. Let us convert this. 2 as it is. 11 threes are 33. 4 threes are 12. Seven twos are 14. 6 twos are 12. Now what I have to do? I have to add the numerators. That is nothing but 33 plus 14. So 3 plus 4 is 7. 1 plus 3 is 4. So what is the answer I got now? 2 into 47 by 12. Now what I will do? I will divide this. 2 1s are 2 6s. Striking out. 
shortcut method i will do i what i will do i will divide this two one that two six that so what is the answer i got now 47 by 6 perimeter of a uh, rectangle is equal to 47 by 6 so here what is the perimeter i got 177 by 20 i got now one more question is there what is that so whose perimeter is greater third question right already we found the perimeter of a b c E triangle that is 177 by 20 and the rectangle of BCDE that is nothing but 47 by 6. Now one more question is there you have to find out whose perimeter is greater. We have to find what whose perimeter is greater. How to find? So we have to compare this this perimeter and this perimeter we have to compare now. Okay yes so I will rub this and I will write here. So see children what we found, we found the perimeter of triangle ABE that is 177 by 20 centimeter and the perimeter of a rectangle BCDE that is 47 by 6 centimeter. Okay, yes now what we have to do now we have to compare and see whose perimeter is greater. Okay, now we have to compare and see whose perimeter is greater. So what we have to do, how to compare, denominators are different. Yes, how to compare them? That means we have to make the denominator same. Then only we can compare them. So in order to make the denominator same, what we have to do? We have to take the LCM of the given denominators. That is 20 and 60. 6. Okay, let us take the denominators LCM. That is 20 and 6. 20 comma 6. What I will do? I will go with 2. 2 tens are and 2 3s are again again I will go with 2 only 2 5s are and 3 as it is now I will go with 3 5 I cannot so 3 1s are I will go with 5 here I will get 1 and 1 ok both the side I will get 1 and 1 I will show you here I will write here Okay, so I will take two, two tens are and two threes are. Again, I will take two. Okay, yes, two fives are ten and three I cannot divide. I will write as it is. Now, what I have to take? I have to take five or three. Five ones are three as it is. Now, I will take three. One as it is, three ones are three. So, now LCM. LCM is equal to multiply all those things. 2 into 2 into 5 into 3. Okay. We'll multiply. 2 2 is a 4. 4 5 is a 20. 23 is a 60. What is the denominator we got? Sorry, that is LCM is 60. Now we have to make both the denominators also 60. Okay. Yes. Yes, 20, how many are 60? 23 is 60. So I have to multiply 3 here also by 3. And 47 by 6. 6, how many are 60? 6 tens are 60. So 10 into 10. Let us see what answer we will get here. So here what we have to do? 177 into 3. We will multiply and say 177 into 3. Okay, 3 7s are 21, write 1, 2 you have to carry, 3 7s are 21, 
21 plus 2, 23. Again 2, 3 ones are 3, 3 plus 2, 5. So what is the answer you got there? 531. Where? Here only I will write. 531, 23 is at 60. Okay. I will write inside the box. And here 47 into 10 that is nothing but 470 by 6 tens of 60. Now you only tell me both the side denominators are same 60, 60. And here the numerator is 531 that is nothing but the, this is the perimeter of a triangle and this is the perimeter of a rectangle. Okay, now you tell me which one is the greatest one, triangle or rectangle children? Which one is the greatest one? Perimeter of a triangle is the greatest one. Understood? What is the answer? Whose perimeter is greater? Perimeter of a triangle. Perimeter of triangle is greater. Perimeter of triangle is greater. That is 531 by 60 and here it is 470 by 60. So the perimeter of triangle AB is the greatest one. Understood children? I hope you have understood. So shall we see the next question then? Okay. So see children, the next question, Sahil wants to put a picture in a frame. Okay, The picture is 7 3 by centimeter wide. To fit in the frame, the picture cannot be more than 7 3 by 10 centimeter wide. How much should the picture should be trimmed? Now Sahil is having one picture that is 7 by 3, 7 3 by centimeter is wide. But he, frame can uh, hold only 7, 3 by 10 centimeter. Means now you have to find out how much picture he should be trimmed. Okay. What is the length of the picture should be trimmed? So what we have to do? Let us see. Solution. What is the actual length of the picture? That is 7, 3 by 5. Okay. Minus 7, 3 by 10. This is what we have to do here. Okay. From the actual picture, we have to minus that. Then we will get how much portion he has to trim. Okay. Yes. Here you see. Mixed fraction is there. What you have to do? You have to convert this into a improper fraction. 7 3 is 35. Sorry. 7 5 is 35. 35 plus 3. 38. 38 by 5. Minus. 7 tens are 70, 70 plus 3, 73, 73 by 10. Can you minus like this children? No. Why? You have to make the denominator same. So let us take the LCM 5 and 10. Yes, 5 and 10. So what you have to do? I will go with 2. Here I cannot divide so I will write as it is. So 2, how many are 10? 2 5 is 10. Now what I have to do? I have to take the 5 only. 5 ones are and 5 ones. So LCM is equal to 2 into 5. 2 fives are how much? 10. 10 is my LCM. What I have to do? I have to make the both the denominator as 10. So let me write 38 by 5. 5 how many are 10 children? 5 twos are 10. So I have to multiply the denominator by 2. Even the numerator also by 2. Minus 73 by 10. 10 how many are 10? 10 ones are 10. You have to multiply this by 1. Let us multiply this. 38 into 2. 38 into 2. 2 eights are how much? 2 eights are 16. Right? 6, 1 you have to carry. 2 threes are 6. 6 plus 1, 7. So what is the answer you got? 76. 76. And by 10, 
minus 73 1 the 73 by 10. Now you see what do you have? Denominators are same. What do you have to do? When the denominators are same, minus the numerator. 76 minus 73 by 10. So what is the answer? 76 minus 73 is 3. 3 by 10. So how much portion he should trim then? He has to trim 3 by 10 portion of the picture. Understood children? What I have done? I have subtracted here. From the original side, you can trim, you can subtract this so that you will get the portion to be trimmed. Understood children? I hope you understood this exercise. So when you meet in next class, until then take it. Bye-bye.